What's going on everybody, FJC here. Welcome back to another BattleBit video. Today what I got for you guys is a movement tutorial. A lot of people have been asking me to do this. For someone who has never played BattleBit or has only seen clips online, this game at first glance doesn't seem too complicated movement wise, but I can assure you that there's a lot that you can do in terms of movement and traversing the map that a lot of people haven't gone over or discussed already. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over how to properly use movement and how to apply it in game. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first thing we're going to discuss in game under the character tab, we're going to go into the chest armor section because that affects your running and aiming speed. The backpack also does affect your running and aiming speed, but I personally don't change anything in here, so I'm not going to cover this. But the chest armor, if you did not know, there's a light, normal ranger and a heavy armor. The light armor allows for better running speed and aiming speed. The normal is what you guys would have selected right now if you haven't changed anything. The ranger has less durability, but allows for more primary magazines. And then the heavy armor has way more durability, way more magazines, and one more throwable but has less running speed. For the purpose of movement, I personally stay with the normal armor. I find it works the best for me, but if you want faster movement, definitely switch to the light armor. So at first glance, battle bit can seem very simple when it comes to movement. It can seem like a pretty straightforward, you're running straight and you know, there's not much else to movement. You know, there's no sliding in the game. You can crouch prone as well as you can't bunny hop and you can't spam your space bar. Like if you can hear, I'm spamming my space bar and it minimizes the amount I can actually jump. But one key feature that really separates battle bit from every other FPS out right now is the fact that whatever direction your mouse goes is the direction your player is going to go if you're moving. So I'm going to show you an example of that. So I'm just going to move forward and I'm going to move my mouse right. And you could see that my player went right. And I'm going to do it again just to show another example. I'm going to move forward and move my mouse left. And you can see that my player went left. Now, the official term for that, in my opinion, and the reason why I said it like that is because I know some people in the comments are going to be like, no, it's called this, it's called that. In my opinion, is air strafing or strafing or strafe jumping. Now you may be asking yourself, what is a strafe jump? And a strafe jump is a movement with your mouse. So you move your mouse in a certain direction that allows you to gain more speed or reach a further distance. Now strafe jumping was very prevalent in Call of Duty 4 Pro mod, if you guys are familiar with that. If you're not, it was basically a Call of Duty 4 competitive mod that was popular on PC. I myself played it competitively when I was around the ages of 11 to like 15. Now what BattleBit shares in common is air strafing. And now what I mean by air strafing is changing your direction in the air to manipulate your player. And just another quick tip before I continue, if you guys weren't aware that there's an auto vault mechanic in BattleBit, so if you're holding your space bar after you jump, it will automatically vault anything that's nearby. This can be very useful, but can also lead to your death if you vault the wrong object. So I've turned my webcam on now so you guys can see what air strafing looks like when I do it, or you can see the mouse, you know, my beautiful hands. So the first demonstration I'm going to show you is moving left, and then I'm going to go to that other side and move right, just so you guys can see the movement of my actual hand. So there you go. There's left, and now we're going to move right. So just traversing around the map, you can see that air strafing is very useful, but you can also use it if you're getting shot at. You'll notice that when you're shooting at somebody, a lot of times they may wildly swing their mouse and you may think, what the hell is that person doing? They look like an idiot. But in reality, it may actually be benefiting them. Another important tip I'd like to add is preferably play the medic class. A lot of times you jump to a low ledge where you end up having to bandage yourself and having the medic box on you so that you could quickly run away and self heal is very, very useful. This brings us to the next topic of discussion. Practically everything in BattleBit is climbable. If you walk up to this window, you know, it's a little buggy sometimes, but you'll climb through it. You walk up here, you'll vault, vault, go over here, you'll vault. So with that knowledge, we can almost create our own path. And this building in the shoot around is perfect. So obviously there's no clear way to get on top of this building here. I'm going to show you with the knowledge that we learned how to get on top of this building. So now that we know that everything is climbable, I'm going to hop onto this wall here, go onto this little ledge. There we go, excuse me. Strafe jump around, and then I'm gonna strafe jump to the right, and now I'm on top. If you guys are planning to practice this offline, I definitely recommend going to this section of the shoot around, 
Once you're out of the spawn, no clip and come to this corner of the map, it's northeast. This part of the shoot around is the most accurate to a city or a small situation that you could see in game on Battlebit. What I would personally do is start out on top of this one building and you can start by practicing a small jump to the left here. So you can pick which window is easier for you. I would say that window would probably be easier and just try to mount in there so definitely check this part of the shooting range out it's a perfect little playground if you're trying to improve your timing or strafing another thing to remember about battle bits movement is that a player can clip through another player meaning that you could go through an enemy's body and use that to your advantage the guns in my opinion that are most effective when utilizing this playstyle are the smgs the pdws and the carbines with two standout guns for me being the mp7 and the vector i'm not going to talk about class setups a lot in this video because i have another video planned for that in the near future so stay tuned for that but i will let you know the attachments that i have been running for the vector and mp7 on my vector, I run the red dot, tactical barrel, B25 grip, and quick mag, and everything is the same on the MP7 except for the barrel being the short suppressor. So that's everything from me for today. If you guys have any more questions, please leave them in the comment section below, as well as you can come to my live stream, twitch.tv slash itsfjc, and ask me them live there. I want to thank you guys again for the recent support on the videos and the channel. It means the world to me, and it only motivates me to keep going. I'm going to leave you guys with some highlights for the rest of the video. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace out. I just have to play different, like, my dodges have to be different. No, oh, my dodges have to be different, like, I have to find my dodges differently. I don't...